Yeah. For me, it's just like the energy, you know, like if I see Zara and like she's being nice, I'll be nice. But if she's being mean, then, you know, like I think we both have this thing. I know one day we will get along yeah. after time has passed. <laughs> just not Awesome. Um, Kaylee, I know with season one, it was your first big, um, you know, like media presence and being in, on, on, on TV. Mm -hmm. How has that impacted your life? And yeah, like, well, like you know, how, how has that made an impact in your life? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was the first time I'd ever been exposed to any type of media, any camera, <laughs> you know, on that, especially on this type of platform. Um, but I think the way that it's impacted my life is it's obviously changed how people view me. Um, you know, when I, when I walk out in the streets, you know, the way people look at me, people recognize me. Um, so it's, it's, it's almost like it's, it's, it's really, um, it's impacted my life in a good way um, in terms of brands, brand recognition. I think I get a lot of brand requests. Um, so, yeah, I think it's just completely changed how people look at me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then, Ventana, uh, you, I mean, you know, you got casted into, mm -hmm. into season two uh, because you had an interest in season one. Um, mm -hmm. And that's when, you know, you sent your, 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 your casting tape, tape to yeah. one of the producers. Mm -hmm. uh, can you just, you know, speak to us more about, you know, how was the whole casting process and how did you feel when you found out that you've been casting for season two? Um, so, like, it was my first time ever auditioning, like, for something. Because, like, aside of being, like, a musician, like, this was, like, something I had to, like, send a video of myself, like, talking and stuff. So I was just, like, I was myself, I guess. I How I am now, like, this is how my video was, basically. <laughs> it was a bit awkward, so I was kind of surprised, like, when I got, like, when they called me back saying, like, oh, you know, you know, now answer all these hundred questions. And I was like, okay. And now, hi. Yeah. <laughs> and to you... Um, you know, Young, Famous and African is like one of the biggest uh, reality shows and it's, that season one did so well globally. And, you know, in terms of season two, uh, like how do you ensure like an authentic representation across the participants? Because, you know, you've got, you've got cast from different parts of Africa. So, yeah, how do you maintain that? Um, and also, uh, how do you maintain the entertainment value of this reality show? Um, I, I think it's just staying true to everyone's stories because as much as, you know, it's called, uh, it's the realm of soapy reality, constructed reality, we really follow their real lives. And as long as we get the download from everyone on what's happening in their lives and we follow that daily when we put them together, um, we've brought this amazing group together and they just kind of explode on screen and they're amazing, yeah? Yeah. Uh, Katie? Yes. How do you, I mean, how, how do you navigate and balance between uh, your relationship with uh, Quentin, uh, you know, the public persona on camera compared to off camera? Is it the same? Is it consistent? Is, is, is your guys' relationship that genuine on camera and the same off camera? Definitely. Um, I think, you know, Netflix has given us the platform to be our authentic self. Um, we also have nothing is scripted and because it's not scripted we're able to be exactly who we are in our private life um, so yeah I think I think in terms of how authentic it is it's it's very authentic we exactly what you see is what you get um, and I don't think anything has really been hidden uh, from the world yeah and in season one some people felt that uh, to a certain extent that Quinton kind of mistreated you or didn't treat you in the likeliness that people would have hoped. But in season two, we've seen a change in that. Um, so what sparked this change? Mm. I think it, 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 it all ca came with maturity. We both, you know, we grew together. Uh, we learned how to communicate better. In the past, we, we didn't know how to communicate properly with one another. You know, the way we reacted to uh, disagreements, it really changed. And... I think it really comes through in season two of Young, Famous and African, um, you know, the, the true reality of our relationship. Um, also, I think we, we always, um, we know what, we know our love. 
we know our relationship better than anybody else. So it took us, you know, not a lot of time, but it, it took us some, um, so, some introspection um, to be able to, to not really care about what people think and to just remain true to ourselves. We know we love each other. We know we care for each other. So just, you know, trying to keep away from the, the background noise, that's something we really had to learn to do. And I think we've done that quite well. Yeah. 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 Uh, Pantena, diamond, diamond, diamond. <laughs> which, is, which, is, which is very interesting to see, you know, you guys develop throughout uh, season two. Um, but I know this is a question that many audience going to be burning to ask <laughs> and they want to know. Uh, do, you do you feel uh, Diamond was genuine about starting something with you? Already having someone in, in his life? You know, we allegedly hear that he, he had someone in his life. And if so, how far are you willing to fight for him? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Me and Diamond, I feel like um, before anything, we were friends. We kind of like are similar in a lot of ways. I would say like, people would say like he's like the male version of me. So we're both very like, we just go with the flow. And I think everybody else like just didn't understand how me and him were just going with the flow. Like if we want to be together today and we want to see other people tomorrow, I feel like not a lot of people understand that type of yeah. relationship. So everybody was kind of like, oh, you know, Diamond's like this, and maybe, and I was like, it really doesn't matter, you know, like, we have an understanding, yeah. and I don't fight <laughs> for anybody, you know, like, I may like you this week, and the next week, you know, I may not, so <laughs> it just depends on how I feel, so, yeah. you know, yeah. And what's the situation with you and Zari? Have you guys spoken ever since, or what's, how, what's the mood, what's the vibe? The vibe is, <laughs> the mood is whatever the mood is, the vibe is the vibe. Yeah. For me, it's just like the energy, you know, like if I see Zari and like she's being nice, I'll be nice. But if she's being mean, then, you know, like I think we both have this thing. I know one day we will get along yeah. after time has <laughs> passed. Just not today. Yeah, just not today. But I know one day we will actually get along. I feel like we also have that personality where it's like we, you know, how do I put it? Like we both have our heads. A lot of fire. Yeah, a lot of fire. So it's kind of like, you know, t both of us together is like big. One day, yeah, an explosion. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Shahir, can you just talk to us more about the, um, the selection process, you know, of the, the, the cast in the show? Because I know in season two, uh, we do see Bonang Mateba. And, and then can you also just give us some clarity on the real reason why she left the show? Um, so choosing the cast has to be based on real connections so that it works on camera because it is reality. You know, so some, some of the cast have to know each other. And we also do look for interesting people, people that bring something to the world, but they really do have to be organic additions. Uh, Bonang leaving is something everyone will have to watch on May 19th, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, she, she added uh, a lot of fire to our show. Yeah, and then... Uh just before we wrap, I also want you to uh, enlighten us a bit more in terms of Bonang leaving the show, um, then we see that there were two other cast members that were added with Rosette and Sibabato. Was that done, was that always in the plan, or was that done um, just to cover up and bring more feisty because, you know, a big personality and a figure such as Bonang had left the show? Oh no, Seba and Rosette, they featured uh, briefly in, in season one, and so they were always part of Andila's world, and we try and include everyone's world as much as we can, so they were part of season two. Okay, and last question, um, for, for, for Fenton and Kylie, you know, we experience Kaylee. Yes, <laughs> so did my face show, I wear my heart so much. And um, <laughs> there, there's many times where throughout season two, there's lots of, you know, fighting and tensions, and then tensions can get really high. Um, can you just enlighten us on what the atmosphere is like when you have to face some of the cast members after you've had, like, a very tense interaction? Uh, me, personally, if I have a, that, I'm not talking to you that day. I just can't, like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just can't talk to you that day. I have to, like, go and calm down. Because, you know, some things, some things are, like, really, like, you know, like, I don't know. I have to calm down. So if, I, if, I, if I'm in a mood, I just won't talk to you after filming. Yeah, same. I'm, I'm not very confrontational. 
So I don't enjoy confrontation. Yeah. Um, and I also don't enjoy drama. I try not to get involved in drama as much as possible, although I know there are snippets of drama that you know I may be a part of in season two. Um, I just try and stay away from it. Um, I think I understand, you know, we need to still be together. We need to sit in the same room. So I need to make sure that the energy is always at its highest level and I can't I can't break that. So I just keep to myself um, in the event that I have an argument with someone and yeah, it, it just is what it is. But it doesn't need to affect your, it's still work at the end of the day. So it doesn't need to affect that.